Have you ever dreamed of reaching for the stars, space walking on the moon, and watching Earth rising with a cup of coffee at a space hotel? Well, space travel may no longer be just a fantasy. In 2021, SpaceX launched a spacecraft carrying four civilians into space, the world's first one with all amateur crew. As space tourism hits mainstream commercialization, in this CHK Business School Research Rights paper, we sought to explore the latest and future developments of this newly emergent industry. It is crucial to understand how consumers across Asian and Western cultures react to space travel, as North America and China are the two biggest potential markets for space tourism. Our research provides the first evidence that Chinese tourists are the most interested in space tourism than their American counterparts because they view space travel as less risky. Therefore, a possible strategy to promote space travel in the Western market will be providing more concrete technological information and emphasizing safety. Back in the day, most space foods were like camping food, feast drives for easy and safe storage. But nowadays, astronauts have a bought menu of items such as food salad, juice, pizza, cake, etc. In one study, we find that the most preferred space food for Americans is pizza, while their Chinese counterparts choose hot pot, and both of them like steak and burgers. When it comes to space activities, we find they both like zero gravity indoor activities, like swimming and spa at a space hotel. Meanwhile, Americans also enjoy space tours, while Chinese prefer watching a movie in a cinema. Companies should thus provide customized food and service for tourists from different backgrounds. Space is still inaccessible to all but the rich. Thanks to immersive VR and AR technology, the general public can experience space travel in an affordable fashion. Space tourism companies may worry that this will reduce their visitors' interest in real space trips. However, after inviting 120 participants to experience a short virtual space tour, 80% indicate they would physically travel to space if they could afford it. So, companies can consider developing virtual space travel as a marketing strategy to increase people's interest in physical space research. Robots are usually adopted to help astronauts to investigate and compete risky space missions. However, they can also act as companions to humans in space. Our study suggests that in the hospitality and tourism context, consumers prefer interacting with humanoid robots over non-humanoid ones, and are more willing to use friendly-looking surface robots when seeking advice. Since sending a robot to space is much cheaper than sending a human, space hotels could use child-like robots to greet guests and increase their satisfaction. Space tourism remains in its early stage, but heading to outer space may be as easy as hopping on a plane to Europe in the future. We look forward to continuing to explore the latest developments in space tourism and how the hospitality and tourism industry can better seize these new opportunities. To learn more about this and other topics in our research white paper series, visit China Business Knowledge at CHK.